Hello and welcome to another episode of LEGO Minifigures Online. In this episode we're going to be using three new Series 13 minifigures. So for this episode we've picked the Classic King, the Evil Wizard, and the Carpenter. So let's go through some pocket adventures and show off some of their abilities. And the first pocket adventure is actually the correct attunement for this character. So he has a sword, which is fairly basic. Well, that's a gold sword, because he's a king. And he has a really awesome secondary ability, which he summons a horse. So it's quite similar to the Series 12 Hun Warrior ability, except for instead of being able to shoot arrows, the king can charge. So you right click while on the horse to charge with it. And it does do a fair amount of damage to enemies if you've managed to hit them with it. You just completely trampled that troll. And then you can actually charge twice if you do it quick enough. So we're going to try using him in this pocket adventure and see how we do. There we go, we just completely dismantled the first set of enemies. And this character is a striker character, so it makes sense that he does an insane amount of damage. I think they missed that guy. That's okay, we can charge at him again. This character is a lot of fun to use, especially with the charge. You can end up charging into quite a lot of enemies and doing quite a bit of damage at the same time. And there we go, first pocket adventure completed. Oh, maybe not, there's some enemies left. Okay, now it's the first pocket adventure completed. And we can just charge on out of here using the horse. It's also great for um, traveling around since you can get to places faster. Okay, well that was good. And where's the next pocket adventure? It's over here, so we have to walk but that's okay. So the next character we're going to be using is the Evil Wizard. Looks very evil, doesn't he? With his cape and flame staff. And also the evil red eyes. So he shoots fire out of his wand. I guess it's sort of a ranged attack, but it doesn't go really far, so... It's quite a close range fire attack. And his secondary ability is this kind of skull fire thing. And it does explode! So if you put it on enemies, it will explode on them. And the, um, maybe I'll wait for it to come back on again. The circle in the middle is the detonation timer to tell you how long it is until it explodes. And there we go. And if there's no enemies around, it will explode on its own after a while, but it will take a bit longer. But we're not here to just keep destroying these little tiny... Oh wait, is there another guy up here? Oh, there's a whole group of them. So as I was saying, we're not here to really continue beating these ruffians. We are here to go through the pocket adventure. So let's head back down the hill and there's the entrance. Oh, they just keep coming after me. They must not like the evil wizard. Which makes no sense since these guys are evil themselves. 
Oh, we nearly completed the quest. We might as well just collect some more of these gems. Actually, still quite a lot to collect, isn't there? So yeah, the explosion spell is actually quite powerful. Uh, what is its name? Sigil of Magic. Okay, we got that quest completed. Might as well burn the fire dragon with the fire spell. And there we go, we pretty much smashed nearly everyone in the area. Now let's enter the pocket adventure. So this is the mysterious crystal cave. It's the perfect place for the wizard to do his evil magic. Well, that is if the crystals are magic. That is. Uh, they might just be ordinary crystals, in which case this is a terrible place for him to be since there's lots of water. And he's an evil fire mage. Or an evil fire wizard. Oh, there's, oh yeah, there's three... Three bosses, tic tac toe. Who do we go after first? I don't like the look of tack, so. Let's attack tack first. There we are, and then there's only tick. Oh, toe got smashed as well. Oh, he heals himself. How annoying. Okay, there we go. Finished him off with the explosion. And then we got the librarian body and the base plate. Just gonna charge out to the exit. Alright, so we've used two minifigures and now we're on to the last one of this set. Let's go to the... Is that, that's not the final one. Let's go to the next pocket adventure. I think this guy is actually a builder. Since, well, he is a carpenter. It makes sense. But his secondary ability is actually really useful. So his first thing, he just hits things with his plank of wood. Which is kind of funny since he's holding a saw. Probably would be better for him to hit with that instead, but no, he chooses to hit things with his wooden plank. And if he gets damaged in battle, he can actually drop down a healing station, which I think is really cool. Because you can heal not only yourself, but your other minifigures as well if you switch to them, and any friends that are in your party. So, I'm sure quite a few people would probably want to have this minifigure in their team if they tend to lose a lot of health. You might have to test how much it heals on a harder dungeon another time, but it appears to be quite good. If we drop it down here I'm sure we won't be losing much health at all. And it recharges quite quickly as well. few more hits, and he's down. Now oh, we got an achievement for the evil wizard as well. And another mermaid body. Yeah, I don't actually need the mermaid character. I think we already got that one. But maybe we can convert some of the parts. That might be handy. Okay, so... The final pocket adventure going to be using a combination of all three characters and seeing how well they work together as a team. I forgot there's actually a lot of enemies in this swamp. Something 
do work fairly well together. Oh, that's an annoying spider cave. There we go. Oh, there's a boss here. Oh, there's always that one archer down here. And there we go, he just exploded. Should we go after the boss? Yeah, let's go after the mini boss. Oh, he's still not. Let's just cast another one of those sickle bombs. There we go. Alright, let's enter the final pocket adventure of the area, the Swamp Tunnel. That just completely blasted all of them. Let's do it again. Oh, yes, it again. He didn't do the same thing this time. Well, those guys were caught completely by surprise by the charging horse. Yeah, we're not really needing to use the healing station that often since we're not really losing any health. Standing all alone on this island. But let's use the carpenter to smash him since we haven't really smashed anyone with the carpenter for a good couple of minutes or so. And here is the boss. Oh, that did not do a lot of damage to him at all. Yeah, he's got a lot of health. That's okay, we can just charge at him instead. Okay, well, that was the last pocket adventure, and we got another set of librarian stuff. I'm pretty sure we can build the librarian character now, unless we don't have the body. Well, that's it for these characters. We've completed all the pocket adventures in the area. And the next episode, I'll be going through a few more of the Series 13 minifigures. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.